Okay, so our menu has actually changed a lot uh, compared to the X100. What we've done first off, and first and foremost, we put on a little quick button here, which allows you to go through all the different menu items you would use very quickly and on a daily basis. Everything from your raw and fine, you could change back to normal very, very quickly. So you back go to raw to fine. You can actually move over to your you know size of your JPEG. You can move that through your ISOs. Move very quickly through those. Very, very nice white balance, etc., etc. Everything, including your your focus point, you could change this from AF modes very, very fast. So going back to the menu itself, what we what we did is we redesigned it so that you no longer have to dive into the menus. They're all up front for you. They're color coded as well. So you have red, blue, and under the playback mode, you have green menus. In this particular area, you have your ISOs. Again, these are all in the quick button settings. Image size, same thing, all on the quick button. Mm -hmm. You have film simulation modes, which is also on the quick button. We're gonna go into some fancier features. The first two menu screens are actually in your quick setting mode, so you don't really have to worry about that. However, once you get into like the number number three here, you get you get into custom settings. You get into um, you know, different types of editing of your custom settings. You have your corrected AF frame, which is for your parallax correction, and this is pretty cool because you have focal length setting as well. So if you were to have a lens that you wanted to put onto the camera that was different than the ones that are, are read by our um, data transfer pins, you'd actually be able to go in here and adjust the, the lens focal length by millimeters. Mm. And you can go as high as you want, as you can see here with the three different digits. So going back to the menu, you see that we have shoot without lens. So you're actually able to see the focal plane shutter uh, uh, move. Um, you also have uh, multiple exposure mode, which I, we think is kind of pretty cool. Here you basically just turn this on right there and you're actually able to go in and shoot two different images. If we could follow here, we can do this very quickly. You can kind of set up something where you grab him real quick, right? And then it comes up and then it says next shooting. So you say, okay. And all of a sudden, you should be able to see that on the screen. You have the ability to shoot somebody else. And you get a multiple exposure. So that's one of the options that you have in the menu. Along with all the other stuff, as normal framing guidelines, auto, uh, auto illuminator, et cetera, et cetera. You're able to go into, you have your flash modes here, flash compensation, et cetera, et cetera. And into here, you have your reset, you have your uh, focus ring from, from one way to the other, left or right, your silent mode. You have several different settings as far as uh, your shutter is concerned. Mm -hmm. Frame number continuous, LCD brightness, uh, the basic stuff. You got sensor cleaning. Sensor cleaning can be turned on or off. Operational volume, um, image display, etc. Quick start mode is actually where I like to keep everybody at right, right from the get-go, which is fantastic. So if you have the camera powered off, you power on, and you want to take a shot real quick. Well, we'll take a look, why don't we, right? So we'll just turn this off right now. So it's sensor cleaning. As soon as you turn it on and off, it does that. Turn it on, boom. Not for not, but that was pretty pretty nice, right? Nice. Okay. Um, there's other features in here, especially with the um, um, those who have been used to our, our, our previous model, the X100, as far as drive and burst rate. Um, our our brochure shows six frames per second as far as burst rate. Um, I've put in a, um, a high speed card in there, and we've done as fast as 12. Um, and it continues to shoot. So just uh, just as a quick uh, high level example here, um, I will show you. Put it at 4,000. Okay, that was definitely more than six. And this is not with a high speed card. This is with the class 10. Storing, as it's storing, and again, this is raw plus JPEG, okay? It's still storing and it used to be where you weren't, weren't able to do anything when it was writing. Now you can do anything you want, including shooting. So um, normal rangefinder cameras um, usually had a very flat top surface, so the top here would come across. As you notice with the X Pro One, there's a slant, a very slight slant, and you wouldn't really think about it, you know, like what on earth could that possibly do? Well, as it turns out, when most people were shooting with um, with the very flat tops. Well, what end up happening is that you would have to do this. And so your hand would normally kind of come up here because of the shutter. But in this particular case, because it's put down here, your elbow automatically moves in. So you're actually stabilized as you're shooting. Just with that small slant, it changes the entire ergonomics of the camera.